Okay, look at that all steamed down. And we are going to get our flame. Move those out. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the When we dry them up, too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to make some naturally seasoned brown stew drumsticks. Yeah, I have just put on my seasonings, all herbs, and uh, I have a video there, full tutorial on this natural brown stew, no browning, no ketchup. We are using only Thais today. I've gone ahead and applied my um, natural herbs so you can go watch that video and then you'll see how I did it I've washed them but what I want to show you I am using drumsticks only so what I did I have cracked it I've cracked each one with a bone right there because you know the drumsticks they can't be that flat flat unless you know because you want to fry them off in a slow way and to get that crisp that nice brown crispness on the skin and you see how we do it but the full tutorial is there okay on the channel here i'm gonna link it up let you go see how i did it now you can apply the seasonings that you want or the herbs but that would not be the authentic way this that i'm doing here is like almost the authentic way i won't be using any browning any ketchup i've applied my natural herbs and the herbs are just like scallion garlic and green thyme and i've also used some ripe scotch bonnet pepper the ripe pepper is to give some heat this dish tastes good with a little flavor from the scotch bonnet now right here i'm gonna be applying my salt that's the only powder i'll be adding some salt and some refined black pepper back in the days we didn't have much of a coarse black pepper thing going on you know so i'm applying some refined black pepper and I'm gonna be rubbing it in. I could too add some pimento, cracked pimento, but I can also add it when I am making this chicken cook down. It's a method that we brown it up. You people say it's fried, but you know what happened? In your neck of the woods, you would call what I'm gonna be doing with it first fried. But in my country, we say brown, brown it up first. And I'll show you when we get to that point also i'll be adding a piece of ginger root and that is mostly added when we are making the gravy down for this chicken so as i said to you full tutorial jamaican brown stew chicken no browning no ketchup so i am seasoning now and as i always say to you family your seasoning method you owns that you own that i do me you do you season suppose you say okay i don't want to use herbs but back in the days these were what we used okay we didn't have those powdered seasons and if we had i don't think our older people would really go for them so if you want to do it with your all powdered season but remember the frying as you call it or the browning process if you have too much of a powdery crust that takes you know too much season that that, that lays on the top of this chicken when you start brine, browning it off or frying it off, it's going to start burning before it even get brown. So hence, I continue to use my herbs. But do you, okay? I'm just going to be showing you. So I'm going to be rubbing in this with the natural seasonings. And as I said to you, it was just scallions. I grated my, 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 my onion. I used half of an onion. I grate, and there's a family. We don't really have no recipe for this it is just the amount of chicken that you are using to the amount of herbs that you are using or to the amount of powdered seasoning we don't go for like i'm having three or four drumsticks and how many teaspoons no we don't do it like that okay we just eyeball it also do your thing hmm? 
Because sometimes when you're wanting to go for that amount, you might just overdo it. I'm going to do this and this is going to be like moving to your nostril. Right now, I'm rubbing in the scallion and I'm trying to hold back that sneeze because this flavor from this green scallion that you are you call it um what do they call it different they, oh they call it green scallions they call it um i don't remember but the scallions this green part here with the scotch bonnet pepper and i'm rubbing it in as much as i can and i'm gonna leave it for another half an hour three four five hours overnight you know that would be the best flavor but in the interest of time on this video i'll just go for 30 minutes i'll come back to you when you are ready to start the cooking process so these are my drumsticks i've removed my seasonings as you can see and i will be putting these in about two batches i'll be browning them off my oil is relatively heated here any side because you know it's skin all over so you want to put it in the oil some people put it hotter than that but i honestly when it goes hotter than that and it fumes up everything just goes up and that the extra you know in there so i think i'll be putting about four or five depending on the size yes i can hold five in here i'm not gonna put any more i'm gonna leave it to brown at that pace and I'm gonna brown it on one side, I would say about 10 minutes. If you're going higher, then it will be about five, six minutes. Because some people do it really high and you know, I like to do it at a medium pace and then let them get browned off and on one side, then I flip to the other side. So I'll be doing this in the next batch. So right here, you see, I have my seasoning that I've removed. And as I go along on this video, you will see because we are going to make them these seasonings okay remember i'm going to link up the brown stew video no browning no ketchup you will see how i seasoned from the beginning all is missing from this one is how i seasoned from the beginning and you'll see you'll put it together you'll watch it watch this and then you'll see this is a beautiful beautiful authentic jamaican dish brown stew chicken not stew chicken i'll catch you in the next clip so okay now you see that the sides there are turning brown so this is when you want to come to flip you see that brown you see this you see that crispiness on the skin brown okay and as it takes this color it leaves a, 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 a little thing in the bottom there you know what i'm saying some of the flavors from it and you're gonna see how we treat it you look at this pretty this is naturally naturally acquired okay we didn't put any browning we didn't put any um soy sauce you see that you see that beautiful brown so you just want to turn it from side and i did add another one because i saw it could have held it and remember as it browns or fries the size diminishes because the grease and all the juice is in there yeah it is in the bottom of the pot and that is why we have this frying look at that so you don't do this on a rush you will get it burned as opposed to brown okay look at that i put in this one last so it's not quite ready yes okay you see that beauty brown that naturally beautifully brown chicken that's what we are working with when you see me next all those and these here will be browned like that from side to side taking care not to burn down in the bottom of the pot and that is why you need this type of heavy bottom skillet and like cast iron cast iron is very good too so i'll catch you in the next clip okay now family this is my my drumsticks here all naturally browned this is my seasonings back in the days when we were doing this is not a lot we were if you or parents who season up a big batch and as they brown they would remove them and in that video that i'm linking you will see i do that people just a small percentage of people say cross-contamination 
I'm not gonna get into that on this video nor any other video with this dish that is how we did it back in the day in Jamaica all over so they would use these chickens that are fried put as soon as some fried they would put them in here put them amongst the raw ones because these that are fried are going back in here to just absorb all of this flavor okay but I didn't remove them from the pot until just now because these were just like a small amount of drumsticks I fried them and I moved them around and I didn't remove them until I had to put them on the plate now what I want to show you most of all is what is left in the pot it's the bottom of the pot this is what is going to give you the brown gravy look at this you see that all that is that catching there it is called flavors it is going to build flavors and it is going to build come up with some color now why you had to remove the seasonings if you did not then all the herbs they would be burned in there this is just not burned this is just like you know catch in there so what i'm gonna do now and i've removed a little of my oil that has been done in there i cool down my pot first and i'm gonna add some hot water you some people would say deglaze and to deglaze it it would have the pot would have to be hotter but i don't like to get my pot too hot when i'm putting it because it you know it traps all those things in the curtains so it's boiling hot water you don't want to use cold water i'm just gonna clean the bottom of the pot i'm just showing you this a different way you know it's the same brown stew so you want to get this up on the eye eat now so, people let me know um them what they call it them chef business them said deglaze we said just boil up down the bottom of the pot you're gonna see how this is gonna stay and clean the bottom of the pot and that is where we're gonna start building this natural brown flavor normally or or or, or back in the day stop bomb people they would do that they would pour everything down in there pour a little water and just let it boil up but i'm just showing you you know to let you understand so the bottom of the pot has been properly been cleaned right there now We're gonna let it come a little more you see that brown yeah okay you're gonna let it stay there and cook a little more and get together a little more okay let me soon cook so i'm stirring and it's getting thick a little thickish so at this point i can put my drumsticks in there same brown stew chicken but i'm just showing you that i can you can develop different different ways of doing things so you eat must be high right now and i put in all of these and return all the little left back juices and let me tell you don't think that this browning as browning process has cooked these chicken no it has not because you could see that you know there was that little bloody water there from the chicken that you brown off. Look at this. I'm gonna coat up the chicken now with all of this natural brown. I'm just going a different way. And as you go along, or as I go along, I can show you probably another six, seven ways how you can get this thing together. I've developed those and it's the same brown stew. Let's get going. I'm just one, I'm just showing you. This is a natural brown. You don't you don't use any ketchup you don't use any browning okay family you know and let me tell you this is something that when you eat it you you, you just i can't even tell you let it stay down in there until it starts steaming and then it starts maybe with a frying process you notice even though i go along and stir it and move it around instead of it becomes white it's getting more even my dad even more browner with a gloss on it you see that glassiness on it dad mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna let it stay that way we're showing you the same brown stew chicken same brown stew it has developed different different techniques as you go along you know yeah we're gonna make it stay there so until it start frying some more and then you see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna soon come as it fries down look at the, the texture of the gravy look how thick it has become look at that 
You see that? I'm going to put my ginger in right now. The flame up we have right here. And I'm going to be putting in my seasons to the side. Right here to the side. We're going to use some hot water to rinse all this little left back. Right. So now that we put it in there, we're going to leave it right there. We're going to cover it to let these seasons steam down. And we are going to get our flame down to low. I am going to come back. Just another way of doing your brown stew chicken in a Debbie kitchen. I'll catch you back in the next clip. Okay, look at that all steam down. And we are going to get our flame. Move those out. Get it on eye. You see that? So your seasonings are all over. Remember I just said to you, you get it back on the eye. Did you hear me say that, Dad? We left it to steam, so we did lower the flame. You move out your seasonings all over. Now, you're going to start your grating down process by adding a little water. Not a lot. Not a lot. We are going to clean around this thing. And you know, to the side, with our flame up all the way okay you see our gravy remains still brown dad you see that yeah. you on it dad show them move it back in gently gently easy squeeze and all of that we're gonna leave this seasoning to cook down leave the chicken also to cook down to take all these flavors from the natural herbs and all that thing that we had at the bottom that we deglazed the pot and we got that pretty brown, nice thing. We're gonna get our flame down at this point though. Yes, graving down, that's what we're doing. We're making gravy. Right here, I've got just a few bell peppers, just to give it, you know me and a bell pepper smuddy, just to give it a little extra gig. So I'll just put it in there and I'm gonna turn it down. This thing, you don't, after you brown it, you don't put a lot of water and boil it down. You're going to leave it to simmer. When it's through, I'm going to come right back. And I'm going to plate some just for you. All done, all plated. And I've served it up for you with a piece of Jamaican yellow yam, two cornmeal dumplings, add boiled food, some stir-fried pak choy, and there you have your brown stew drumsticks right there please do from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your palate and most of all to your stomach it is brown stewed um drumsticks done just for you we did it another way just to show you that natural brown i have other ways too Remember to make sure that you check out my Patreon. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support from all of those that started with me on my Patreon page and all the new patrons. Welcome and thank you. If you're watching and you'd like to be a member of my Patreon, check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives for the link to my Patreon. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Once more, give them a shot, Dad. Brown stew, chicken, or brown stew, jumpsticks, or chicken legs, as we say in Jamaica. Hard boiled food. I did it just for you. Remember, when you serve brown stew chicken, it can be served with white rice. It can be served, it is so loved with rice and peas. But when you serve it with rice, you can opt, opt for the raw veg like what I showed you the other day in a few videos back. But when you do add boiled food, opt for steamed vegetables. Just a tip for you. Remember to make sure you're subscribed.